we are today is because of doctor's care and every specialist he has and the care he has is because of doctor's care. Eating new things, trying yeah. new things. They care about you and they care about your health and they care about your kids' health and your well-being and you know what they have here it's just unbelievable and it's irreplaceable. Doctors Care is a unique place it's just such a compassionate place and we really care about what happens to our patients. Doctors Care was founded in 1986 with the idea that when patients have needs and we have all these wonderful physicians and hospitals in our community that we just need to make that connection happen. And we're still doing that same work today. What has changed is we've added or integrated additional services like behavioral health and oral hygiene. Did the Tooth Fairy come visit your house already? Doctors Care is a community health center that focuses on patient-centered medical home for patients zero to 35. We accept all comers, and if a patient is uninsured, we navigate them towards the health insurance that would be best for them, whether it is Medicaid or services on the exchange. Doctors Care's four core services include the clinic, health navigation, connection to coverage, and access for the uninsured. Nathaniel is a very special little boy with a very special mom. He really struggled after six months with a lot of, of respiratory hospitalizations and GI stomach problems. Probably about five, six months, I started realizing he was a hincer and milestones. And, you know, a lot of people told me it was just because he was preemie and he had a surgery when he was a month old. He'd catch up, he'd catch up. But, it was a lot more than that. Hey, Nathaniel. Hi. What you up to? So we did some further investigation, and we had a neurology evaluation for Nathaniel. And over a series of two or three appointments, it became apparent that Nathaniel had Angelman syndrome. And this was an extremely uh, difficult diagnosis for anyone let alone a young, struggling family to hear. The bottom of your whole world sort of falls out when you get a diagnosis as drastic as his. Where do you begin? How do you find resources? How do you determine what the care needs to be? He's gonna need a neurologist, a GI doctor, a pulmonary doctor, and how do we navigate that? We have navigators wonderful volunteers and staff that say to the patient, where are you today? And what's getting in the way of you getting the health care you need? And if the patient says, well, I don't know where I'm going to get food tonight to feed my family, then let's start there. When she received his diagnosis, the first thing I did was email doctor's care and let them know that, you know, we probably needed to address a whole new care plan. and. Not only did they help us address that and coordinate all of the specialists, um, which was phenomenal, but to work with Chelsea and address a new family plan for her because she'd planned on being a working parent and was not going to be able to work because of Nathaniel's disabilities. Way up, 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 up. They were able to help coordinate and find a program that would help her still be able to work and support her financial needs as well as his medical. So it's our connection to job training programs and food programs through the faith-based community, through social services. It's um, opening those doors so the patient knows how to access those services. Chelsea was just so invested in getting maximum services for Nathaniel and, and it really meant being an advocate and a voice at all of the appointments. Chelsea never stopped for a minute, you know, advocating for Nathaniel. So access meaning getting the specialty care services they need. Access also means reducing the complex nature of their lives. I've been so fortunate to have found the sweet spot in my career where I'm able to work for a nonprofit organization that provides very needed services to a population that is so grateful and really needs the services that we provide. It's the entire support system for Chelsea and Nathaniel from a health perspective, not just physical health, but health of the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. They've been there for me and my son through 
any kind of struggle ever since he's been born. I'm very grateful for that. That means the world to us. 